Hey guys, this is Mark. Now that you know about user registration and uh, registration confirmation emails, let's talk about user status because it covers both concepts. So user status is a special column that is available in the users table. In fact, if I scroll down to, uh, to the right, you see there is this user status column. In fact, let me bring it closer here. By the way, you may not know it, but if you go into the columns, uh, menu here and you find a column that you need uh, you can rearrange the order of these columns just by dragging it out and uh, in fact you can you know hide some of the columns just by selecting these check boxes and uh, the console automatically refreshes that view so it shows up exactly as you configure it and the console will remember your configuration on that specific browser. Anyway, so here I have my user status. Let's take a look at what the values are for these statuses. So here it is enabled and disabled. In fact, if I click on the edit for the user, this is my entire user record for Dr. Octopus. The user status right here shows either enabled or disabled, which is very straightforward. Whenever a user is enabled, they can log in and they can use your application. If you switch it to disabled and then save that user, it shows up as disabled right here for Dr. Octopus, then the user will not be able to log in. Uh, if the user is logged in and you change it to disable, it will not log them out automatically. That's going to be a separate topic where, where we talk about logouts. But if the user is not logged in and you change it to disabled, then the user will not be able to log in. How is it relevant to email confirmations? Well, let me demonstrate. I do have this record that I created for myself. Let me delete that and then recreate it again using a uh, backendless console. But let's make sure that the user confirma email confirmations are turned on and they are it's on the users and then user registration section then back in data let's create a new user i will still use my email address and the name is mark uh, user status we do not modify and uh, then the password let me get to the password actually press return here's the password so the record is created. This is my user. Notice that the status now says email confirmation pending. So what that means is that this user is neither enabled nor disabled, but their status is that an email has been sent out to that user and we're waiting for them to click that link. Whenever a user is in that status, they still cannot log in because email needs to be confirmed. You, as the administrator of your application, you can override it. You can basically change it to enabled. And in this case, user will not need to click this link. So for instance, if you have a situation of support, someone calls in and says, hey, you know, I deleted that email, I, I cannot receive it or whatever. And you just want to basically say, okay, you can log in. You can just change that status to enabled. And that will, uh, let me do that right now, and that basically enables that user to log in and use your application. So user status is rather important. Once we start talking about database and running queries and data retrieval, you can actually use that column to retrieve all the users that are enabled or disabled that, uh, that is treated just like a regular co database column in Backendless. But for now, uh, I wanted to demonstrate you know, the, the significance of the user status column and then various values that it may contain. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And as always, happy Backendless coding.